speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine, we wanna chase the night. Hello and welcome to Crime and Justice. Hi there, everyone. Wow. This news came out. It must have came out because I didn't go to bed. I fell asleep on the sofa and woke up about 4 a.m. and then went to my bed. So I get up about ooh, 10, 30, 11 because of the medication I'm on. It literally wipes me out and I get up and I find these YouTubers talking about this info and I'm thinking how long ago was this and it's so nine hours eight hours I'm going that's literally just after I went to bed right so I always miss when breaking news comes out because of the time difference here in the UK to the USA Oh, so, uh, um, I have, I had every intention this morning, every intention of getting up, having my coffee, my morning routine, getting my head screwed on, waking up fully, and then doing some housework. But hey, I like to just go into pot. Because of this, because I have tried everywhere. I've tried typing in keywords, everything. I've gone onto my one app that I use for information, for documents. Can't find it, it's not on there yet. So I emailed a YouTuber asking him where he gets his information from. <laughs> I've not heard back of him yet. <clears throat> 
that YouTuber will know who he is when he opens his emails and sees my email. And if you don't, I'll send him a little message on his live when I catch him live. Right? <laughs> because it's very hard for me to catch YouTubers live because, as I said, the time difference. Anyway, so I haven't been able to get the documents, which is a bit annoying because everyone says, oh, it's public information. Yeah, it is for the USA, but not for the UK. It's not public for the UK. So I tend to have to wait until it, someone posts it up on to this app I use. And then I can get the information. But I can't afford to wait. So hopefully I won't get struck get a, a strike against me but I'm going to have to use a couple of YouTube well several YouTube channels to get the information out so where are we we are looking at the legal action hold on I'm gonna put it up on I've got some on X all right I put some up on X. Now, you know X, uh, Dog the Bounty on to Nick the Hat, right? They put like cryptic sort of clues, uh, posts out. I do, they put cryptic posts. So, This is the first one I got. And I'll share it with you when it opens up. It's so annoying. So. This is off on my Twitter account. And I know there's people in here watching from Twitter. And I thank you for being here and watching this with me. Right. Um, let's pull. I thought I'll just put that up. Why isn't that going up? Oh, God, what is going on with my internet and my thing today? It's not going up. Why? Let's add it to the stage. Take away that right. Um, the other thing that they say is they list off, they list off like people that they're covering, that they're their umbrella companies protecting. And I'll tell you, but if you think having them file this on your behalf is going to stop me, you're just amped me up because it's not. It's not for you. It's not. There's not one, like they listed when I talked about the accident outside of our house. So what? You spoke about that publicly first. Like there's nothing that they can do. Um, and, and Molly, you might want to take these off of your paid subscription, please. This attorney. Yeah, I was reading they, it. They try saying that we can uh, fundraise. They, you, they can't tell me I can't fundraise. They can't take away this. They don't have the right to take away that right. Um, the other thing that they say is they list, they list off like 15 people that they're covering, that they're, they're umbrella companies protected. And I'll tell you what, if you think having them file this on your behalf is going to stop me, you're just amping me up because it's not. It's not, not for you, BJ, it's not. Not for you, it's not. There is not one, like they list it when I talked about the accident outside of house. So. What? You spoke about that publicly first. 
Like there's nothing that they can do. Um, and, and Molly, you might want to take these off of your paid subscription, please. This attorney, yeah, I was reading they, it. they try saying that we can uh, fundraise. You, you, they can't tell me I can't fundraise. They can't take away. They don't have the right to take away that right. Um, the other thing that they say is they list off, they list off like 15 people that they're covering, that they're, their umbrella companies protecting. And I'll tell you what, if you me up, because it's not, it's not, not for you, BJ, it's not, not for you, it's not. There is not one, like they listed when I talked about the accident outside of our house. So what? You spoke about that publicly first. Like there's nothing that they can do. Um, and, and Molly, you might want to take these off of your paid subscription, please. Rogers, Andrea Griffin, Brittany Nicole, and, and a laundry list of others. And I believe this one specifically is Stephanie Joe Trude, Jessica Lynn Singh. Uh, and is that as that just let me see here all right so plaintiff at night media llc is a pennsylvania limited liability company with its principal place of business at one world trade center floor 85 new york new york and is uh is in the process of relocating uh, plaintiff Dwayne dog chapman is an individual in his professional capacity as bounty hunter and public figure With an address of, all right, great. Plaintiff Seth Rogers, Plaintiff Tony Math, this uh, Hong, let's see, Brittany Nicole Jackson. Christina O'Donnell, Julia Valentini, Valenti, Valentini, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, and you have plaintiff Nicholas and then defendant Jessica Lynn Singh, the individual. I don't want to read her address, but anyway, it's, it's all in there. So history of the case, plaintiffs uh, commenced that the uh, instant action by filing a complaint in equity contemporaneously herewith a true and correct copy of the complaint is attached hereto and made a part of hereof hereof as exhibit a uh prayer for pre preliminary injunction uh, for reasons stated in the attached complaint let me see here a pre preliminary injunction granting the following equitable relief a pre preliminary injunction prohibiting defendants Trude and Singh, as well as any other person, uh, persons or entities acting by, for, or through them for further disclosing, disseminating, or publicly sharing any private communications involving plaintiffs or their associates, including but not limited to recordings, live streams, or related content obtained with the consent of all parties in violation of 
the Pennsylvania Wiretap Act, uh, directing defendants to cease the use of crowdsourcing or fundraising platforms, including but not limited to GoFundMe, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple, Apple Pay, YouTube Super Chats to solicit funds for their legal defense or any other purpose related to litigation. All fundraising efforts must be conducted with full transparency and accuracy regarding the nature. of the defense and the defendant shall be prohibited from making misleading statements about this case. So what you have here at the very beginning is a lawsuit filed. Uh, it was, it, it, I mean, this is a, a, a very big lawsuit and there's a lot of, uh, was it Jane Doe's involved that will be, their names will be coming out uh, sh shortly, I would assume. And yeah, uh, so I believe the, there's a barbecue lady, barbecue lady, and I believe Granny's watching is the two that are named. Okay, yeah, I, I heard you the first time, Christine. If you don't want to listen, you don't have to. You you don't. I mean. <laughs> I saw what you said the first time. I get it. I understand. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. But I don't know what to tell you. Well, for now. For now. Uh, let me see. I take that back. Dude, you did. I mean, this is a public filing. Why do I need to redact it? You know, of course I don't. It's, it's, not, it's not for me to redact. All right. So. Prohibiting defendants. Okay, so they're not supposed to talk about it, and they're not supposed to crowd fund, crowd source. Yeah, it looks so. From what I looked, from what I saw at the very beginning of this, which was very, if, I haven't, I haven't went through the whole thing. It's like a hundred pages between two different documents, and that there are others that are Jane Doe's in this. That it looks as though more people will be named. Um, let's see. Okay. Prohibiting defendants from making defamatory statements, disparaging statements regarding plaintiff Seth Rogers, Tony Mathis, Mathis at night media, or any other named individuals, whether directly or indirectly through any platform or media to prevent uh, further harm to plaintiff's reputation, emotional distress as per Pennsylvania defamation, um, and harassment statute. Directing defendants Trude and saying to cease any attempts to portray, disclose, or release the private information, identities, or families of the plaintiffs, plaintiffs and associates, associated individuals, whether through social media, public forum, or any other channels to protect the safety and privacy of those involved. Requiring defendants Trude and saying to immediately re remove any existing online content, videos, Posts or publications that reference the plaintiffs in a defamatory, harassing, or intrusive manner, and to certify in writing that such content has been permanently removed from all platforms under their control. Ordering defendants Trude and Singh to reimburse plaintiffs for any cost incurred in addressing or mitigating the harm 
caused by uh, caused by the defendants unauthorized disclose disclosures and defamatory conducts including but not limited to investigative let me see well then just it, it's not it's not crazy it's not crazy and irresponsible this is a legitimate lawsuit filed towards actual people on this app so i don't know what you're talking about so if you want to watch watch if you don't leave it doesn't matter to me i don't care uh, i'm just reading you the lawsuit that was filed i didn't file this lawsuit so mandating that defendants inform their audiences including followers, supporters, subscribers, and associates to cease and desist from see, cease and desist from all defamatory, harassing, or threatening behavior to provide evidence to the court within seven days confirming that uh, let me see. Confirming that such instructions have been issued in good faith, granting such others and further preliminary reliefs as this honorable court deems just and appropriate to prevent the ongoing and irreparable harms to the plaintiff. And so Stephanie Joe Trude, and then, okay. Memorandum in support of petition or preliminary injunction and final injunction and other uh, equitable relief. Now I tell you that just reading something like this will tell you that the company that filed this and the people that are involved in filing it, uh, Dog and, and Tony, uh, they, they seem very, they, they know, they know what they're doing with this lawsuit. I mean, this is, it's like a conspiracy type lawsuit. It's almost like, I don't know if this is considered Rico, but I'm not sure. Um, it could, it could be, but it, but there, but there's a conspiracy uh, sort of thing here. I, I don't know. It feels like it feel. I don't know if this is definitely a Rico, but if it, it feels kind of like that, but I, I, we'll see. Plaintiffs of At Night Media LLC, Dwayne Dog Chapman. We did this memorandum in support of their petition for the injunction. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the case stems from a criminal enterprise led by defendants, which operates through coordinated online harassment. It is. It's like a Rico. Holy crap! Ooh. This case stems from a criminal enterprise led by defendants, which operates through coordinated online harassment, defamation. Um, let's see. The incitement of threats against plaintiffs. Defendants' actions have severely obstructed the ongoing search for missing teenagers, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, and have caused ir ir uh, irreparable harm to the plaintiff, to the plaintiffs and their efforts. This memorandum outlines the pattern of illegal harmful conduct engaged in by defendants, which not only violates Pennsylvania's Corrupt Organizations Act, but also federal laws governing harassment and criminal intimidations. Like you can't call somebody a pedo. That's not a pedo. You can't call somebody, you know, a thief. That's, that, that's not a thief. You know.
Sure, I, I, I can, yes. And uh, nobody's to give Dietz any trouble in the chat. If you do, you're in trouble. She's a very honorable person. And uh, if you don't agree with me, I don't care. All right, so the Coordinated Criminal Enterprise. Since February 2004, or excuse me, 2024, defendants, Trude and Singh, have launched a coordinated and malicious campaign to undermine the search efforts for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, using their social media platforms to defame and harass their plaintiffs, their actions designed to mislead the public, create confusion. And <laughs> I was going to play last night. I didn't play it though. And discredit those associated with the search have crossed into dangerous and unlawful behavior. Timeline of defendant's campaign of defamation and harassment. Since Fe February 2024, defendants Trudin Singh have launched a coordinated malicious campaign to undermine the search efforts. Uh, their actions designed to mislead the public, confuse, discredit those associated with the search, have crossed into dangers. Uh, okay, so here it is. February 25th, 2024, Sebastian, J Sebastian Rogers was last seen by his mother, Katie Proudfoot. The following day, authorities in, uh, initiated the search. March 2024. Defendants began their online campaign for positive coverage and accurate information. End of March 2024. Defendants began accusing plaintiffs, including Seth Rogers, of using the search for personal gain. Uh, these false and malicious claims were disseminated to a wide online audience. April 24th, 2024. Defendants escalated their efforts by organizing followers to defame, harass individuals involved in the search. The declaration of uh, Andre Griffin provides detailed accounts of how she and others were targeted through false accusations with severe, which severely harmed her personal and professional reputation. May 10th, 2024. Seth Rogers retained Tony Mathis pro bono to assist, and pro bono means no, no money, which is what Tony has claimed uh, going way back that he, he is receiving nothing for doing this to assist in the media efforts regarding. And by the way, it's now in writing. So when this, and if it goes to discovery, Tony will have to prove that. So, you know, yeah. well, I mean, I'm telling you that you can, this, I, I mean, I wouldn't mess around with this lawsuit. It's, it's pretty, pretty encompassing.
how does this help Sebastian or help to find Sebastian? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what you're asking me. I, that, I'm not, I'm not claiming that it is or it isn't. I'm just reading it. Uh, people are, people are allowed to file lawsuits. I don't know. Yeah. Anybody can get this legal, any document. Uh, defendants escalated their efforts by organizing followers to defame and harass individuals involved in the search. The declaration of Andre Griffin provides detailed accounts of how she and others were targeted through false accusations, which severely harmed her personal and professional reputation. It, look, it was just a matter of time before something like this happened. Okay. I mean, I've been threatened with litigation before uh, and they never followed through with it. But you got to understand that this this really does. I mean, look, if there are people willing to file these lawsuits, and I'm telling you, this whatever filing this lawsuit was, it ain't cheap. You got to understand that this is not a cheap thing to do. It, it takes a little bit of, but this was this was a long time coming. I'm surprised it hasn't happened in other cases. And let's see. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. August to October 2024, <clears throat> defendants' campaign continued using platforms such as TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter to amplify deform defamatory narratives, rallying their followers to, to participate in online harassment of plaintiffs. And let me see here. September 24th. see it's really funny it's funny kraken says that uh it's a joke what a load of crap I, I can guarantee that it wouldn't be a joke or a load of crap if your name was on this you probably wouldn't feel that same way if my name was on this i wouldn't be very happy about it and i tell you that uh i would be seeking legal counsel immediately you get what i'm saying at night media uh increased the reward for information relating to sebastian's uh, disappearance in retaliation to def uh, in retaliation defendant Trude made direct threats on public forum saying it's my effing mission to take Tony the F down uh, video QB chain of command timestamp 426 defendant Singh continued to amplify these threats encouraging online communities to engage in harassment uh, I don't know there's a there's a lot though there's a lot. Uh, two tragedies in life says people who ask, how does this help Sebastian? Well, another distraction by the question itself. The reason they had to file this in the first place is ridiculous. It's a missing child. I don't disagree. Yeah, please be respectful. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Uh, Let's see here. All right. Summary. Okay. So legal argument, summary of argument. Uh, societies appear to be the subject every now and then to periods of moral panic. Its nature is presented in a stylized and stereotypical fashion by the mass media. 
the moral barricades are. The moral barricades are manned by editors, bishops, politicians, and other. Uh, right-thinking people, socially accredited experts pronounce their diagnosis and solution, ways of coping evolved or more, resorted to sometimes in the panic passes over and is forgotten. At other times, it has more serious and long-lasting repercussions and might produce such as those in legal and social policy or even the way the societies convince itself. We are witnessing one such movement or moment of moral panic fueled not by traditional media whatsoever but by the vast reach of social networks and well-coordinated attacks searches as sensitive as the one for 15 year old sebastian rogers demonstrates how public panic driven by coordinated misinformation can distort uh, the very foundations of justice this defense the defendants in this case have unleashed coordinated campaign of cyber harassment false allegations witness intimidation and the search uh, for a 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers. What began as rumors has now escalated into a full-scale conspiracy led by six or more individuals who have weaponized. So there's your answer to the question. There's your answer to the question of how many. So it's, it's six or more. So right now we have two named. It looks like there's going to be about four more named in this. Uh, the criminal justice system teeters on a dangerous uh, precipice in such cases uh, where fear and misinformation threaten to replace reason and fairness. Defendants Trudensing have pushed the search for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers to that precipice. Yeah, six plus. Who, uh, there's going to be there's going to be more named here. Here, the defendants have conspired to spread defamatory and inflammatory falsehoods, creating toxic environments that has delayed and obstructed the search for this child. They have organized their followers and online communities to harass witnesses, intimidate investigations, and, and flood tip lines with false leads, all while spreading the false narrative that Sebastian's father and his allies, including Dog the Bounty Hunter, and At Night are involved in criminal activity. These actions not only obstruct the investigation, but have sown chaos and diverted critical resources. Corruption Organization Act. Coordinated criminal enterprise. So this is this seems this seems a little Rico-ish here. And let me it's about time. Seth, Tony, BHB, et cetera, put up with hate channels talking bad about them starting bad rumors and has taken focus off Sebastian. They're trying to get focus back on Sebastian and stop the hate channels. I mean, it seems as though the court has accepted their complaint. Sometimes they don't, it doesn't even make it to filing. Defendant's actions fall squarely within the scope of the Corrupt Organizations Act. Here we go. This Pennsylvania statute is designed to prevent and penalize organize. This is a RICO lawsuit. That's what this is. Wow. Good 
goodness gracious. The Pennsylvania statute is designed to prevent penalized organized crime. Jeez. Defendants. Yeah, this is the lawsuit filed by. Uh, Tony Mathis, Dog the Bounty Hunter, Seth Rogers, in response to what they feel is people uh, uh, berating, harassing, intimidating. Uh, okay, so let me just keep going here. Defendants have engaged in a pattern of racketeering-like behavior by organizing a coordinated campaign for online harassment and defamation. I don't know who's all going to be named in this. But I'm telling you, you might want to get a lawyer. And if you think that they're joking, this is, I mean, this is, this is pretty serious. Whew. Uh, I mean, that's, that's just a major, major. I don't know if I've ever seen this before, something like this. Their activities involve multiple individuals acting in concert to harm to the, cause harm to the plaintiffs and obstruct the search for Sebastian Rogers. Defendants repeated and organized conduct targeting specific individuals for harassment, inciting followers to harass and spreading false malicious information, meet the legal for their corrupt purposes, engaging in defamation, harassment, and the threats aimed at the plaintiff. Federal cyber harassment and intimidation laws. Defendants Truden saying along with their followers form an enterprise operating with a clear objective to defame, discredit, and obstruct plaintiffs in their efforts to locate Sebastian Rogers. As evidenced by the coordinated efforts and commu uh, communication among defendants and their followers. See, defamation harassment claims under Pennsylvania law. So the two that must have been served here, this is this this must be Pennsylvania, correct? Uh do both both of them live in Pennsylvania? Yeah, barbecue and granny are the, the ones that are the it looks like they're the brunt of this one. And it sounds like there's more coming. Yeah, I'm not telling you not to. I'm just telling you that this is what's happened. So they both do. Okay. So yeah, that's what I was I mean, this is kind of geez. <laughs> yeah, well, it's gonna be a big one. All right, so yeah, and then the unethical fundraising. So basically they're saying like you can't you can't use your social media platforms to crowdfund for your defense. That's what it's saying. All right.
Jay was not, I don't believe she was included in any of the other ones before. They need to stop fucking with Brittany Jay. What is happening to Seth? What? What is happening to Seth? Why is he being, I'm not telling who, who sent it, I know. She's like, don't tell, I know, I know, I know. No, I don't say nothing. No, 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 we're not saying, no, she doesn't know, she, the girl's begging me. To tell me. I know, I didn't say anything. I always keep people's identity. Um, wait a second, this is my question, because I don't see everything and I don't know. There is a lawsuit. It doesn't look good for these people being mentioned so far. I mean, I'm not mentioned. The thing is, is I'm going to say, Betty, but we're ready. You need to listen to what I am saying right now, please. As a former friend, you cannot go over here saying, listen, they're arresting me. They're shutting me up. They're blah, 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 blah. And then be part of a lawsuit that's saying, I need these people to shut up. This is not, from what I can gather, a cease and desist. Did these people get a cease and desist as of yesterday? Did they get a cease and desist as of yesterday? I don't know. Go to page three. It says, uh, so, all right, so the first, number one, or, yeah, number one, so one through 12 lists all of the people that they are telling to shut the fuck up. Okay. They're telling, this is who they're protecting. So they're protecting Dog, Seth, Tony, Ponzi, Billboard Betty. Mm -hmm. She's protected under this, right? Brittany J. Okay. I don't know who number eight is. I don't have the slightest clue. Julia Valenti, Nick the Hat. Who is Stephanie? I don't, oh, that's the uh, barbecue lady and Granny's watching. And then the plaintiffs are engaged in the urgent and sensitive task of locating Sebastian. The search for Sebastian has proven far more difficult than a missing teenager, blah, blah, blah. They are saying that it's like the Salem witch trials. That these individuals are uncomfortably close to Mr. Rogers include his ex-wife, Katie Proudfoot, and Christopher Proudfoot. Uh, they are engaging in reckless and unlawful actions, including dissemination of false information, harassment, threats, and interference, which have severely disrupted the search operations. Uh, defendants' actions have caused significant harm, diverted critical resources, and impeded the plaintiff's lawful efforts to locate Sebastian. So that's anyone listed in Section 1. And then, I mean, and this just goes on and on. I'll have to go through this. Wow. Wait, um, so wait a second. Let's be realistic right now. So Seth, why, wait, can I ask a question? All right, and I'm, I'm not being a fucking douchebag. I'm being honest here. Is, does Seth go on, I mean, this is like, wait, Don, Don, Don came to YouTube for help and wanted people talking to keep the kid's name out there. So you got these people keeping their, the child's name out there, but you don't particularly like what they're saying. How are they stalking harassing, getting in the middle of the case. The thing is, the problem, I'm sure that the lawyer will tell you, is that pesky little burden of proof. So basically, these people don't have money. So it's basically a scare tactic. Why didn't they just send a cease and desist? Stop talking about my son. They have sent cease and desist. Oh. I don't all right, well, that, all right, I didn't know that. So I didn't know that. And they still went against it. We got one. And, um, we got one? Oh we got one? Barbecue lady, the Stephanie lady that's mentioned. But there were only two people, I think. This is different. This is not a cease and desist. This is saying that they are. They're starting the procedure. It means that a procedure has been filed with the court. It means get oh, yourself yeah. a lawyer. This is worse than a cease and desist. You can't rip this up and ignore it. All right. So my whole thing is cyber harassment. They mentioned a certain news broadcast that they've played. If you go to page. Allegations and threats. All right. Now, this is the thing. If this, or if this granny's watching or somebody else gets an attorney and says, threats associated, show me where these actual threats are. Well, you said it, you stated it, you stated it here. Did anybody ever see threats? Because I get, all right, see this, all right, that, that, that's not, the, that's no, that's no one's fault in what's in the chat. If there is a direct threat against the proud feed or Seth or Betty or any sort of direct threat, you take it, you take a screenshot and you go to your local police department. That is where you start. I have never even been threatened directly. And people hate me a lot more than they hate Seth for no reason. So I'm just going to say.
When have we ever seen anybody? When have we ever seen anybody ask people to stop talking about looking for my child unless it's harsh criticism? What do they think Seth has done? What are these false accusations that are dis 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 decimating his character or character assassination? What are they doing, Sam? Do you know? Well, it tells us right here in page, it gets into it on page five and six. On April 16th, 50 days after Sebastian's disappearance, Mr. Rogers initiated a petition on change.org. Um, on so all of these tell exactly what they did. Oh, okay. So, but, I mean, this is so long. Hey, can you condense? Or, not, or do you know particularly what they did? No, I don't know what I mean. Oh, so, oh, so you really haven't been Rob Lowe? Oh, uh, what all these people do on the day to day. I don't want to sit around watching this crap. Okay, all stuff. right, gotcha. So, over and over, regurgitating. Uh, that's what I figured. Yeah, because it's a money grab, it's a total money grab. And they, and I guess these people are tired of it. Oh, wow. Wow, you guys, it's getting pretty, uh, it's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I want to take my clothes off. I just got up from the nap and I'm a period. And I'm about to go see Terrifier 3. <laughs> I'm going to go get a McRib. You're going to get a McRib? Yeah. How do you stay so skinny eating a McRib? If I, eat a Mc... <laughs> if, I, if I look like, if I eat a fucking McRib, I would look like Violet Beauregard for about a week. I, I eat so much junk. I don't know. Oh, okay, her repeated threats, I dare you <gasps> to intimidate and coerce others into compliance or silence punishable under Pennsylvania's criminal harassment statutes. Uh, Defendant Trude further said, it's my fucking mission to take Tony the fuck down so whoever that looks for you or whatever you want to imagine in your God-given brain, when I say take them down, I mean, like, he should not be a fucking spokesperson for anybody's missing child. Ooh, wow. This is bad. So see through all the way through page 30. So then hold on, because I want to see Brittany J. So in multiple live broadcasts on YouTube, defendant blank, because I will not talk to her, engaged in a concerted effort to defame, harass, and intimidate plaintiff Brittany J. as part of a broader coordinated attack with her associates. These statements are not isolated incidents, but rather form a substantiated campaign, oh, sustained campaign of targeted harassment, threats, defamation, violating both Pennsylvania federal laws and fitting into a pattern of conduct that constitutes part of a corrupt enterprise as defined under 18 Pennsylvania, blah, blah, blah. In her live stream, defendant Blank directly threatened Brittany J. I will make you a fucking victim. She you said that? Well, that's what Granny said. I will give you a reason to go legal. You have crossed every fucking boundary there is. A true and correct copy of Granny's watching live stream. See, a true and correct copy. That's what I was talking to you about yeah. a couple days ago. Live stream audio lasting 16 minutes, 54 seconds on May 9th. So whatever Granny's watching did on May 9th is listed here in this lawsuit. Okay, so you guys, I learned this with the Nick Carter case. All right, so we learned this a couple of years ago. I don't think that you guys remember. Dude, racketeering. Well, they fucking, this is bad. And they also got extortion as well. Jesus. Uh, just remember that there, you can look that up. There's a difference between slander and defamation. One of them is print. The other is video. When you delete those videos, you've actually added a layer of protection to yourself. I just learned this a couple of years ago. So just remember, the video can be deleted. Of course, it can be copied. But when you say use the Facebook or the Twitter, every time you tweet something out, it's it's in the Library of Congress or blah, blah, blah. So there really is a difference. And those differences are, uh, now you're saying this is done in Pennsylvania. Oh God, it's hard to go after someone in Pennsylvania, but Kristen. Holy shit. I already said, I'm, oh, I'm not going to mention uh, who said this to me. No, you haven't. I haven't. You haven't said anything about who sent it to you. I don't All right. Know. I don't know why people are fucking joining as free members. You don't get to see anything. Don't ever join as a free I, I don't understand that. When you join as a free member, you don't see anything. Lisa, <laughs> you're not going to see anything. <laughs> not the 50. There's a 25. Oh, it's a 20. Oh, I have a lower tier. It's only 50 when you want to take the, uh, the, the sessions. So hold on a minute. So this also mentions there was a fatal accident outside of Brittany J's house. And... Granny was talking about it. It mentions that accident in here. There's a lot in here. There's a lot in here. This lawyer, oh, and then Wilmar Betty is on page 36. So all of the things this attorney is doing to help her is on 36. I was talking, it mentions the recollect. I mean, this is no bullshit. The recollect. Rico, Rico. R I C O. 
inciting followers to engage in harassment, disseminating personal information, spreading false and defamatory statements. <laughs> so this is the complaint. Granny, you better find something else to talk about. Yeah, just just drop it, is what I would do. Pick up your ball and go home, hon. It's all over. Just stop. Yeah, you've got kids to take care It of says you should take this paper to your lawyer at once. If you do not have a lawyer, telephone the office set forth below. This office can provide you with information about hiring a lawyer if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer. This office may be able to provide. I hope that wasn't on mute then. When I shown the video. Better not have been. Otherwise, I'm going to have to whoo, this video. Anyway, thank you for being here with me today. I really do appreciate you all being here. Thank you for supporting my channel by being here. Show me some love if you want. If you're on YouTube, you can now support the channel by liking by sharing, by commenting. Even on X, you can support the channel by sharing, by showing some love, and by commenting. Right? But now, if you're on YouTube, you can now become a member. And it's not it's not that expensive. It's not. Right? It's not like some of the channels where it's like, it's not even $3.99, it's not even 4 like some are like four ninety nine, five nine. I know one channel has got one of the memberships at twenty five dollars. I'm thinking, who pays twenty five dollars to sit there and listen to you just chat around about everything and anything? Anyway, I'd just like to say thank you everyone for being here, and I might be on tomorrow. I'm not sure. I see what happens overnight. Okay. I might even be back on tonight, depending on what happens. But I doubt it. I've got housework to do. I want to do some 5D diamond art. I want to do some like today. So, like I say, this is true crime channel without the drama. It's completely for entertainment use only. I need to put that up on there. I need to change that. Everything I say is purely in my opinion. Please do your own checks. And if you're under 18, then you shouldn't be here. Okay? So until then, I'm out of here. We rise like tall buildings. Just begun as she puts her hand in mine.